so lost with words, Papa. We still can't come to terms with what has happened to you. You always found time for us in your busy schedule. Your favorite advice to us is to always remain humble, respect everyone, and have humility at all times. You provided me with the best life and education. You taught me three main things in life, to be humble, to always stay strong, and to always keep time. You taught me to always treat everyone equally, no matter what background one comes from. Timekeeping was so important to you to the point when we had a meeting somewhere, we found ourselves competing as to who would arrive first. I cherish that. To the, to the staff, I was known as the Mzungu timekeeper. Lastly, to be strong. The word to be strong started being annoying when you would use that at my darkest moments. But after you left us, this has been my greatest energy. It did not take a moment for me to start repeating that to my children, but one day they will to understand. Dear Kuga, you are the protector and shelter of this family. And although you are now in heaven, you have left, you have left your footsteps here on earth. And I promise you that my cousins and I shall forever follow them. We will remember all the good memories we shared these short good years and we'll, for, we will never forget them. Folks, she told us in all the incredible holidays we shared with you. You will, remem you will remain the best granddad in the whole world. We love you. kienda kabra kimefukuzwa nikienda kwa mikutano escort commander amefukuza nikatafuta Hosea Kiplagat nikamwelekakuta yeye pale cooperative bank nikamwambia mimi na yeye tumefanya kazi ya rais Moi nimewekewa fitina namna hii namna hii na nimeumizwa na mtu mwenye kubaliza hii fitina ni rais mwenyewe na mimi kufika huko haiwezekani akanisikiza vizuri akanificha kwa gari yake moja kwa moja mpaka Kabarent Gardens nikapata mzee mwenyewe nikanisikiza nikamweleza akaelewa fitina akachukua simu nilikuwa nimepelekwa wajia nikarudishwa pale nilikuwa kwa hivyo hawa wazee Hosea Kiplagat mzee Bragatunyi mzee Philman Achelaget watu wanaweza kosa kujua lakini walifanya kazi ya maana kwa rais Moi kwa sababu pale kwa rais Moi fitina ilikuwa mingi. Na ikulu iko fitina mingi. Ikulu ya rais Moi kibaki haikupata fitina mingi kwa sababu hakufua mlango sana. Lakini ile kidogo ilifika 
alikuwa na wazee Jenga Karume, John Michuki, Stanley Murage, Joe Wanjui wanamaliza hiyo fitina kidogo kidogo. Naibu wa rais rafiki yetu. Mungu akikujalia ukuwe rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Kwa sababu wewe ni mwenye kufungua milango. Utapata na percent mambo ya kukusaidia na kutakuwa na 10% ya fitina. Utaweka wasee wachache wenye hekima zile fitina taletwa kwako wanamaliza. Na uchunge wale wazee unaweza weka ukuwe mwangalifu wanaweza kuwa wenyewe ndio wenye kuleta fitina na kuchochea wengine. Kwa hivyo lazima utaangalia vizuri uweke watu pale fitina ikija wanajaribu kusota utu. Kwa sababu hiyo ofisi ni kubwa na ukiwekewa fitina huwezi fika kule simamo yako imekwisha. Kwa hivyo sisi tuko na hayo na ndio nilikuja kusema shukrani kwa huyu mzee alinisaidia alisaidia wa Kenya wengi na alifanya kazi ya maana hata kama hakuwa na hiyo cheo kubwa katika serikali sisi watu ya Nyeri na watu ya Mlima Kenya ni marafiki wenu na tutapenda nyinyi e, na sisi sisi ni watu ya shukurani ukitudedea mema tutakufanyia nini mema na tuko namna hiyo na mtuelewe tuko namna hiyo tuko shukurani sana 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 ni watu tukitendewa mema tunatenda mema Mungu awabariki Bwana Hosea Kiplagat alikuwa mtu ambaye ile jambo alikuwa anatumia kila siku ni kusema humility humility ukarimu hiyo ni kitu ambaye ningependa sana tumkumbuke kwa hiyo wakati huu tuko Kenya ni wakati ambaye siasa iko moto 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 sana mimi nataka mkumbuke kwamba we are here for a very short time na message yangu ya kumalizia ni kwa youth. Yeye maneno mnaambiwa you are the future leaders of tomorrow. Hakuna kitu ya kuambiwa you are the future leaders. You are the leaders now. Lazima muamke. Pia nyinyi muweze kusimama. You demand what is rightfully yours. Lazima wote pia mukae. Kwa Kimasai tunasema lazima ndiki ngwana. Yaani lazima pia nyinyi muweze kuwa na kikao yenu mukasema this is the route we want to take na amani idumu Kenya hii kila mtu ako na haki ya kuwa Kenya hii na hiyo ndio kitu ambaye tutakumbuka uh, the late Hosea Kiplako bwana DP na, na ndugu yangu Gideon nyinyi ni watoto wa tumbo moja lazima mushikanishe jamii ya wakalenjin pamoja that one is a must Itafika wakati mutasema personal differences aside hata mimi kesho nakutanisha wa Maasai nawaambia hata kama wanwe clan ujue sisi wote ni maiti watarajiwa so we must all work together so that we develop our nation Mungu awabariki sana asante nasomewa yale mengi HK yamefanya na mengi ya yale ni kuunganisha na mengi ya yale ni kusaidia na kuinua iwe ni katika kijiji hii katika kaunti hii na Kenya mzima baka ta siasa yeye ilikuwa ni kuunganisha na kusaidia. Mali kuna shida ako kusaidia. Mali kuna ugomvi ako pale kujaribu kuunganisha. Alikuwa mtu wa kupeana the best advice whether it's in business, whether it's in public life, whether it's in political life. Na hiyo ndio sababu wale tumesikia wale ambao walikosana na mzee Moi aliweza kulete pamoja na kuhakikisha kuwa that is resolved this is what we are lacking now in our public life hiyo ndio tumekosa kwa siasa yetu watu wakitangana hakuna kurudiana tena ni kwa sababu hatusikisi wazee we are not listening to the advice of elders we the political class are not listening to the advice of the leaders So we have to go back and see the life of HK and many others the role he played so that we can be able to drive this country forward without going back to conflict without retreating back to so many problems ile mimi naomba viongozi na watu wa bonde la ufa kutoka kule chini kajado baka kule juu turkana tuzungumze na mdomo mmoja Tuzungumze na njia ambaye tutainuana. Tuzungumze na njia ambayo tusaidiana 
ili tutoe uamuzi moja ambaye itakuja kusaidia watu wa Kenya na kusaidia jamii ya bonde la ufa. Hiyo ndio mimi ningeomba katika kikao hii ya leo tukisindikisha mzee huyu rafiki wetu na pia kuambia kanisa simama na familia hii na maombi simama na Kenya na maombi ili tuweze kuendesha nchi hii mbele maendeleo yafike na tuyaangalia yale yako huko mbele mbali na kutusaidia sisi wo. nilishindana na watu wengine ambao walikuwa wakubwa kidogo na wakati niliwashinda nikapata matatizo kidogo kwa sababu sikuwa najulikana sana so na nilishinda rafiki ya rais Moi moja anaitwa Chesire sasa Moi akauliza huyu mwa ameshinda Chesire ni nani ni mtoto wa nani huyu sasa ikakosekana ikasemekana nafikiri ni neighbor ya mzee mwingine hapo namna hii namna hii So nikaanza safari yangu ya ubunge na matatizo Lakini nashukuru Mungu kwa osea Na unajua siku hizo serikali ya Moi haikuwa na maneno na hivi hivi uki <laughs> unaweza kunyoroshwa mbaya sana So baada ya karibu miezi sita nane karibu mwaka moja nikiwa mbunge na niko na matatizo kwa sababu nimechaguliwa na ilikuwa hali ambayo sio nzuri sana huyu wasea huyu ndiye alinichukua na bishop Yego wakaniweka gari yake huyu akanipeleka mpaka Kajado na ni mashangao makubwa kwamba leo tena nitaenda Kajiado. Akanipeleka mpaka Kajiado, wakaniunganisha na Rais Moi, wakasema huyu kijana si kijana mbaya. Hata ni kijana wa AIC ameokoka. Nikafanywa ukarabati hapo. Bas. Sasa kutoka hapo ndio Rais Moi akani amini na nikaja nikawa rafiki yake mkubwa sana katika uongozi wake lakini mwenye kuanzisha hiyo urafiki ndio niweze kupata network ya kufanya kazi na rais Moi ni huyu wasea and that is why i am here to celebrate his life because he made a difference in my political life huyu wasea senator walekina Usikuwe na wasiwasi ati kuna maneno hapa. Hapana. Sisi ni watu united. Sisi tuko kabisa. Na sio ati united ati watu ya wakalenjini hapana. Tuko united as Kenyans. All of us we are united because tunataka kutembea safari ambayo itahakikisha kwamba wa Kenya wote wanafaulu. Unaweza kuanza mahali padogo. Unaweza kuanza mahali ya pajulikani kama Cheplambus lakini unaweza ukaenda ukawa director ya maji vile wose alikuwa ukawa director ya Kenya Airways ukawa chairman ya cooperative bank kwa bidii na imani kwa hivyo mimi nawauliza kama wa Kenya kwa sababu kuna watu wengine wako na madharau wakiona mtu maskini hapo anasema huyu afai hakuna mahali ataenda mimi nataka tuulizane kama viongozi jameni tuwe na heshima kila mtu ili itimie kwamba vile hosea huyu alitoka mahali padogo akafanya kazi ndogo ndogo ya kuuza ngozi na kuuza samaki mpaka akawa mtu wale wengine wamebaki hapa Cheplambus na sehemu zingine za Kenya hata na wao tunaweza kwa njia kupitia mpango ya serikali kuwapatia 
uwezo wa kuwa na matumaini ili tukimuona mtu pale ambaye ametoka mahali padogo tu, na amepata mali kama vile Hosea amepata tusianze kuwaita wezi tujue ya kwamba kuna Mungu Zaburi 113 mstari wa saba na nane. inasema Mungu kumtoa mnyonge mavumbini na huyo Mungu kumfanya mtu fukara na maskini waketi meza moja na wafalme kwa hivyo tujue kuna Mungu mbinguni marafiki zangu na ndio tunasema hapa mbele tunaenda itakuwa ni bidii yetu kama viongozi kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila mkenya hata kama hajulikani na mbunge ama hajulikani na MCA ama hajulikani na naibu wa rais anaweza kuwa na mbinu na namna ya kutoka pale chini na kwa bidii aweze kuwa something katika taifa letu la Kenya